How's it going everyone? We want to take a minute today and talk to you about our MV Flex model. This model is designed for you to attach your own hose to the union and is great for use cases where your offset's between three to six inches or if you have a real crazy transition and our MV90 or MV180 model is not an option. A couple things to note here is that this is not self-aligning. We do have some tips and tricks to help you get this guy hooked up when you're in a tight space. We'll show you that here in a minute. Another thing to keep in mind is that we still want our hose length as short as possible. We don't want to have a big long dryer dragging back behind the dryer. So we'll show you how to keep that as short as possible as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. All right, a couple of tips to get the hose on the Union. First being we want to make sure that our duct is pulled nice and tight and that our inside edge isn't folded up and creased up. And if you'll hold the union like this, you can place the far edge in, and then with your fingers through the inside, you can help walk the hose onto the union. Get it down nice and tight. We'll put our hose clamp on. And these have a flathead in them, so any flathead screwdriver will work, or if you have a multi-bit screwdriver like this, one side is usually 5 sixteenths, and you can take the bit out and use that to tighten your hose clamp. And we want this guy pretty snug. We don't want it coming off the same as on the back of the dryer, but we don't need to put such force on it that we collapse anything. So we'll get it to where it starts snugging up and give it a nice little bit of a turn more, and that's all there is to it. Now we've got our body mounted to our wall and we measured an offset for the dryer that we're gonna be installing at five inches. We have a video on how to measure that offset. We'll put it down in the video description. And five inches doesn't seem like a lot because it's not. If you think about a four inch pipe, we have to take that measurement from center to center. So we eat up two inches right off the bat. So the way to tell how much hose to use is we can go ahead and put our magnet up here and we have our mark on our wall and we're going to draw an imaginary line down through here and position our hose where we need that to line up and one thing to keep in mind when you go to cut this is we can't cut it in the bend we have to have that couple extra inches of hose to put on the back of the dryer we also recommend using a good quality hose this is innovate dryer flex hose we like to use this stuff because it has a zero flame spread and it's really rigid doesn't like to collapse like the cheap foil stuff so let's go ahead and cut our hose and we'll get this attached to the dryer. All right, we're gonna go over some hose cutting tips here. One thing um, is to get to our hose nice and tight. And then here we have used some electrical tape and we have just placed it around. There are wires that run through this duct. So when we're cutting, we're gonna run into those. And it's not that big of a deal and it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So using a regular utility knife, we'll come in here and you'll be able to see the wire on yours and we'll come in on this side and we're just going to follow that tape line all the way around. And right here I can feel us getting close to that wire and it'll start getting a little tough to cut. And just ride right to the edge and then give that a slight pull and then we just cut our wire nice and flat. And that's an easy way to cut your hose. And a little pro tip when it comes to getting the flex, like we said, this guy isn't self-aligning. So you can take and make a lasso out of some string and you can either leave that loose on top of the dryer or we can come up here to just one of our backing screws, take that guy loose and wrap it around there to help hold this guy up to make for an easy alignment. All right, now that we got our MV Flex all hooked up, you can see that we were able to utilize the shortest vent path possible while not crushing the duct. And we don't have a big mess of hose back here being a dryer dragging force, which is exactly what we want. And with this offset of five inches, we are still able to get the dryer to within seven inches. So we hope you guys enjoyed the overview of the MV Flex. And we'll see you all again soon.